I was a one percenter. My name is Woody, and my history is his story. Well, when I was growing up, they said one percent of the population were outlaws. I had my first motorcycle when I was 15. The guys I rode with were a really tough group. We all got tired of a lot of the, the uh, stuff that was going on, and we decided we wanted a club. Um, where we knew everyone, we trusted everyone. There were no newbies, there was no one new. Everyone had history. We started the SoCal chapter, Outlaw chapter, and uh, we went from there. My grandmother had just given me a Bible just before this run, and I remember looking at it and putting it on the shelf and thinking, there's no way I'm ever even gonna read this. I remember I was at a gas station tanking up my bike. Not thinking about anything, and all of a sudden this young man was standing in front of me. Not intimidating at all, but he had a presence. There was a, there was a power there that, that was intimidating to me. I, uh, I was packing a sawed-off shotgun in my coat, and he had a Bible. And, and he began to tell me about Jesus. He was taking me down the Roman road. You know, I, I didn't even know what that was at the time, but uh, I got about halfway down that road, and I couldn't take it anymore. Just told him, look, I don't want to hear about your Jesus. Just get out of my face or I'm going to throw you in front of a car. And uh, he said, I just want you to know that I love you. And I want you to know that God loves you. And one day you'll stand before him and give an account of everything that you've thought, everything that you've said, and everything that you've done. And when he said that, my life changed. He, he sicked the hound of heaven on me. Everywhere I looked, I saw God's shadow for weeks, and I couldn't run far enough from him. But when he told me that, I stopped and tapped my uh, nozzle in my tank and looked back up and he was gone. And if he would have run for 15 minutes in any direction, I still could have seen him. He was gone. The words that he said rang in my ears. I heard them over and over, and, and uh, the less and less attractive this life became. I have a history. God has chosen to make me part of His story. Who I am has been redeemed. I'm becoming the Son of God that He called me to be. That's the best family that you can find, the best brothers that you can live with, the cause that changed my life. God chooses to make me someone new and someone with a future, even though I have a past. My history is story.